And how, hey, keep, keep your hands up. And how many of you have tried to use in a dating app? Have you, have you ever tried? Yeah? Keep your hands up. Seems like almost no one. Okay. Wow. 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 <laughs> no doubt, you guys should take notes to what I'm going to say. And if you are a couple, I think you should even pay more attention um, to, to make sure these apps do not appear on your boyfriend's iPhone. Okay? <laughs> <It's a lot. laughs> Hello, my. Uh, okay. Wow. It's exactly a fake photo for me. Okay. Hello, my name is Anson, and I'm a previous employee in iPad, Aiqing Gongyu. And I know many people are eager to meet friends online. But what kind of app should we use? I think the answer really depends on your needs. Do not add her friend because it's actually me, okay? <laughs> for example, if you are looking for a college friend, you should try like a D-card. Have you ever heard of D-card? It's like users in D-card have to register by their school mail. So the, this, this, is, this really filters out some like, fake guys or some mid age that you might not want to meet with. So you should try T-Card if you want to find a college friend. And what about if you want to have a CCR? Do you know CCR, the cross-cultural cross romance? As far as I know, Tinder has a, like, the most foreigner users uh, among these dating apps. And by the way, in Tinder, uh, the free members and the premium members almost share the same features. So if you don't want to like to spend any money on the dating app is your is the best choice, I think so. And how about happen? Happens if you want to find someone nearby you, try happen. The pairing system of happen is is based on your user locations. Like Mm, you can pair up with the people nearby you or someone just passed by you. So, if you think your neighbor is cute, like <laughs> the one that just live nearby you, you should, try the, you should try to happen because it can help you to get your target. And, okay, sorry for the photos, it seems so blurred, but it's okay. And if you are if you are looking for a more serious relationship, like a marriage, you should try the sweet ring. The average age in sweet ring is slightly higher. It's like 25 to 30 or 30 to 35. And most of the users are finding a long-term relationship instead of a one-night stand. So if you have some single older brother or sister, you can tell, you can tell them because uh, this might help it a lot, and and actually, it's in my company. It's my it's my product. Uh, when I was in work, okay. And <laughs> uh, and if you want to find something mm, <laughs> something interesting, yeah, just go Scott and Vito. Don't ask me why. Okay, you can try. So to find something like temporary relationship, go scout and beat up. And there are still some uh, different type of dating app. For example, like an anonymous online chat, the Wu Talk. It doesn't show your photos. You, you just chat online. And for gay, there's a gay dating app, a gender. Gender, so if you are a gay, go gender. And wife exchange sounds strange, but there's this, this one, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Ashley Madison. Okay, because today the time is limited, so I'm not going to share some tips, like a tips of pickup. And if you are interested in how it works, yeah, it's quite important. You will know. <laughs> please, okay, please, please, please ask me after this talk. Okay, thank you.